right, so we got a service call this morning. It's about 2.45 in the morning. And um, the call was meat freezer, running warm. Um, I just walked in. I opened the doors. All the fans was running. There's no frost on the coil. So. All right, so we're up at our rack. Um, our suction set point, everything looks nice and tight. All of our compressors are running. We're at 100%. Uh, let's just check out our circuits. All right, scroll down. So we got two freezers in the alarm there. Set point is zero, running at 34. One is running at 26. And our meat freezer is right here, circuit 30, which is not an alarm. Most likely it just went through defrost. All right, so as you can see, negative two right here. This thing hasn't really hit set point in some time. The 22nd, today is the 3rd of February, so yeah, it's been a couple of days. All right, so this is our rack. We got one ball of oil right there. Look at that demand cooling. Our compressor's running, it's hot. That's good. Good, let's just touch the back of the suction bell. Make sure they're not warm. So, that feels good. No valve plate leaking there. Check out our sight glass. I mean, our liquid level. We're at zero percent. All right, sight glass. Sight glass is flashing. As you can see, that sight glass is flashing. So uh, we got a rack low on gas. That's why we got multiple cases warm. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk over to our suction header over here for rack five. And we're gonna find our liquid ball valves down here at the bottom. And uh, we're gonna close these ball valves on a couple of circuits. And um, that'll give us some more liquid you know, to be able to feed to the case. And um, it also kind of proved my theory that we're um, low on gas, so. All right, so I just closed my liquid line ball valves. And as I was closing my ball valves, I noticed one of my liquid line ball valves in the back back here. Can you see that? See that back there? That ball valve has a lot of oil around it. It looks like it's leaking, so let's investigate that. All right, so let's get a little bit closer. Uh, let's spray this with some soap bubbles. Uh, could be a leak, it's a lot of oil, so let's spray it down. All right, so we got a leaker. All right, so I just tightened up my liquid line ball valve. It should no longer be leaking. Let's just spread down with soap bubbles and uh, let's see what we get. All right, so no longer leaking. So I leaked search a little bit more in the area and uh, what I found is this here leaking. Look, look at my leak detector. Leak detector's going off. That is no cap on the transducer. Look like it's leaking. that so we got a leak there also all right so I just replaced the Schrader let's see if this thing is leaking all right so no more leaking and uh, also make sure you guys always put a cap on something like this don't use a rubber cap and uh, give it a give it like a few minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and uh, you should see a case come down and your sight glass should clear up. All right, so let's just check back at our sight glass. Sight glass is clear. Uh, let's just check out our circuit. All right, so as we check, look at our circuit now. At zero degrees. And that is due to us closing multiple liquid line ball valves down there. Uh, we did that to clear up our sight glass. Uh, we're no longer sending the liquid down to the other cases. 
we're only sending it to that particular case and uh, temperature drops so that kind of confirm our theory that the rack is low on gas um, that's just one kind of way that you can tell to see so if you ever come out to a call and you think the rack's low on gas you can valve off multiple circuits close the liquid line and uh, see if your circuit drop in temperature all right so i got my gas here um got what seven tanks of r22 30 pounds a piece and uh we're gonna get this thing gassed up man uh probably take me it's gonna take me a minute to add all this gas man over an hour i said at least an hour 30 minutes maybe it's a nice amount of gas all right so we just added the gas that side glass is clear let's check our liquid level right now we're at 15 percent and uh that's good man let's check out our circuit all right so here's our graph this is before i came here we was running pretty high all night and then when i came i opened the door and um as i added the gas and closed the ball valves you can see here our temperature started to drop and that's the lowest it's been as you can see so another call down plan the motor go